There definitely is a sense of otherness here between Catalan people and the rest of Spain. Anytime that you talk to someone from a different part of Spain, whether it be like the north or the south in Andalusia, whenever you mention Catalans, they're just like, oh, them. Catalonia has its own um, traditions, for example, uh, its own language. They also have uh, particular foods. Um, so there's, there can be a s sense of identity, and some people do feel only Catalan, not Spanish. We share different traditions, different languages, different literature, different culture. Um, I think it plays an important part on it as well, because um, as I often say, like, I don't feel different in terms of superiority or whatever. I just feel different the same as if I were Italian, the same as if I were Portuguese. I just feel I am from somewhere else. I love Spain and I love Spanish people and I love the culture, but it's different than mine. I define myself as Catalan. I identify as Spanish, Catalan and American. I think that nationalism in Catalonia is not similar to the movements we are seeing in Europe nowadays. It's more related to some economical reasons, yes, but mostly cultural, political reasons. They are very fond of their own culture. They feel, sometimes they feel a little bit um, too much pressured by the central government in Madrid, their relationship with, with the rest of Spain. The fact that during all these dictatorships, the language has been forbid forbidden, the culture has been forbidden and disrespected have um, created a wound that hasn't healed. So a lot of people feel um, that they cannot belong to a place that has done much harm to them or to their families. But it's, it's not a, a nationalism where they want to expel people. I, I, I see Catalonians are, as very open-minded. They have been receiving waves of immigration for, for a long time. I think that it has nothing to do with our amb el nationalism, with the that has fronteras frontiers. And I think that we have no idea of being so open. Normally, here in Catalonia, we've always been very open. And the view is that here there are people from total the world. I identify as a person free. I identify myself as an eco-friendly global citizen. When you see a building full of Spanish flags and Esteladas, which is the independence flag, or Sañeras, which is the normal Catalan flag, like the regional one, or um, posters that, said, that say um, freedom for political prisoners. You see all of this together in the same building, you can tell there's no tension. We don't care anymore about, about flag symbols and, and, and everything because uh, uh, you are crazy if you care about those things here. Yeah. I mean, so, it, for me, it's like a tantrum, like, like a little child when he can get what he wants and he's like, it's, a, it's like a continuous tantrum. A few years ago, that Barcelona has become more, more closed. It was an, an open cosmopolitan city maybe 20 years ago, and now it's uh, so much less. I think it happens to every big city. I mean, neighborhoods like this with all of uh, immigrant people, and, and that probably has something to do with the return of nationalism because people fear that they, these people are coming. They, they, they say here in Catalonia that the fora vendrán y de casa atreurán. It means like they will come from outside and they will take you uh, through, through you out of your home. A big problem that arises in Catalonia, especially Barcelona, is this idea of there's a lot of tourism and there's a lot of uh, also immigration and with the whole sense of nationality and nationalism you can sense sort of anger at all people all around the world coming here. How is it possible that uh, in the schools here, you know, uh, they teach children in a way that, for example, they speak about uh, Catalonia like uh, the, the Paisos Catalanes, that means that is 
this country, but it's not Catalonia only. Uh, Paisos Catalanes is also Valencia. It's also, you know, uh, another place is Baleares. That is come on, guys. How how you can teach this in the school? We basically come from the same place, uh, both both both. Uh, I mean, culturally. Uh. Also geographically, I mean. The, the Iberian Peninsula, I mean, it's formed from many bi groups of people from different pueblos or, or little countries, you could say, but they're very similar. I mean, the language, uh, uh, Portuguese had their language, Galician, his family is from Galicia, they have their own language as well. Uh, Catalan, Valencian, all that from, the, the, the root is Latin. So they're very similar in a way. But we are, with our difference, I think we are much more alike, of course, than than Scandinavians, for example. And I, I think we've lived like that for many, many centuries, so it's quite shocking that nowadays, probably it's because of the, the global crisis, as they say, not people is trying to react to, to that crisis in a way that protect themselves, and they think that becoming a small tribe again is gonna be better. Some people feel that we give a lot, we Catalans give a lot of money to the rest of the country, Spain, but then we don't receive enough money for our roads or for our health system or whatever. And I think economy plays an important role on the fact that people become independent.